This week on The Splash, we join in to celebrate the return of a local Olympic winner. Then we learn how taxes can benefit local businesses. And later, we take a heartwarming look at a local pet adoption event. The Splash is a production of Civic Center TV. We're a news magazine that covers everything from local news to feature stories, all so that we can bring you the latest from the greater West Bloomfield area. And now, let's dive into The Splash. Welcome to The Splash. I'm your host, Sheena Monin, and as always, thank you for joining us. It's not every day that a local resident makes it to the Olympics and wins big. One of our very own recently did just that. Reporter Tyler Keeft has the story. On a warm and sunny spring day, the community came together to celebrate a local hero. A native of West Bloomfield, Kyle Mack has been snowboarding since he was three years old. At the 2018 Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang, South Korea, Mac competed in the first ever running of big air snowboarding. After narrowly missing the cut for the Olympics in 2014, Kyle Mack soared to great heights, taking home the silver medal in Pyeongchang and instilling a feeling of pride for all of us who call West Bloomfield home. And so residents, family, friends, dignitaries, and local celebrities joined together to show Kyle Mack just how proud his hometown is of his accomplishments. With a great crowd, excellent weather, and a fun celebration, Kyle's homecoming was nothing short of spectacular, both for West Bloomfield Township and for Kyle himself, who said, quote, I don't really have the words to express how grateful I am. Through all the trial and error, every successful run and devastating defeat, Kyle Mack persevered, and in the process, brightened each and every one of our spirits. And so, on a day equally as bright and sunny, the community said thank you, and Mac once again rejoiced in the pleasant remembrances of West Bloomfield, a place he, like many of us, call home. In West Bloomfield, reporting for The Splash, I'm Tyler Keeft. To find out more, you can visit civiccentertv.com slash Kyle Mack. The Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce continues its dedication to helping local businesses grow and prosper. We sent reporter Ryan Younglove to uncover their newest educational session on taxes. Today I'm at the West Bloomfield Township Public Library where the West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce has put on another business innovation generator meeting. We were talking about the new Tax Cuts and Jobs Act here today which um, we wanted to get the word out to everybody because there's a lot of planning that's needed this year that we haven't had in other years. And we're very enthusiastic about taxes and about what we do at Block Advisors. So we wanted to share with the group that was here a little bit about some of the, I guess they are hurdles that we need to get over and some of the trouble spots in the new tax law that we need to do some extra planning about. Kristen also explained why it's so important for people to acquire this new tax information. This year more than any other year because we know upon looking at the tables that came out in February of 2018, we know after looking at those tables that more than likely the withholding that you are currently doing in your W-2 is probably not correct for the end of the year and there probably is some adjustment needed. The Business Innovation Generator meeting was very informative and is helping everybody here in the greater West Bloomfield prepare for next tax season. This has been Ryan Younglove reporting for The Splash. For more information, feel free to stop by our website, civiccentertv.com slash GWB Chamber Taxes. Still to come, we explore the many ways our community supports pet adoption, and then we take a look at a brand new episode of Sidewalk Talk. Don't go away. You're watching The Splash on Civic Center TV.
now, back to The Splash on Civic Center TV. Welcome back to The Splash. I'm your host, Sheena Manin. Adopting pets is made easier by the West Bloomfield Park's partnership with several local pet adoption organizations. As an animal lover myself, I was thrilled to join the event and see the community come together. The fourth annual Pet Adoption Day at West Bloomfield Parks provided a perfect opportunity for community members, local shelters, and kids of all ages to come together and see available, adoptable pets. Well, there's no commitment, so the best part of this is individuals can come, they can see what we're all about, they can see what rescues are all about, and I see a lot of people bringing their small children, and what a great way for them to sort of see the responsibility that comes with being a pet owner. Um, and getting an opportunity to pick up details when they are really ready. So it's a safe environment. These events are wonderful to have so people can learn more about the different breeds, cats, dogs, all of it. It's good and it's good to get children at a young age to look at dogs from small dogs to big dogs so that they grow up and they understand how to take care of them. Pets can be great friends of the family, especially pets who've been adopted. It's just great to come home and have uh, a furry friend that's happy to see you and you know just um, it's it's great to have a dog because you can take them for walks and get outside and um, they're always in a good mood they're always happy um, so it's just it's really great uh, to have that emotional support. Unfortunately people still buy pets um, there's a lot of animals that need loving um, a lot of animals come from all over and it's very important that we look towards adoption because these dogs, in my opinion, they are the most grateful when they get adopted. West Bloomfield Parks recently opened a large dog park and continues to support the community in making sure those who want a pet have a convenient way to adopt one. It's great to see so many animal lovers. Um, you know, and some people bring their pets with them and then see if they, um, you know, get along with the dog. So it's just great to see that whole interaction going on. Um, and just learning about all the different groups that we have here today. Many of them are, um, come from shelters where uh, the dogs have had some issues, whether it's health or um, troubled backgrounds. And so a lot of them have really great stories and they might need a little bit extra special care, but um, finding those matches is really important. So we're just happy to facilitate that. As always, being around cats and dogs brought smiles to the faces of so many. For more information on the annual Pet Adoption Day or the various agencies there, you can visit civiccentertv.com slash 2018 Pet Adoption Day. Now it's time for another episode of Sidewalk Talk, where Samana Sheik spoke to Greater West Bloomfield residents to find out their personal thoughts on a new topic. like to end up in Bora Bora one day. West Bloomfield, if you could choose between a tropical island and a country in Europe, where would you go? Probably a country in Europe. And what country would it be? Uh, I would like to see Ireland, but Switzerland's pretty cool too. Switzerland has the best chocolate, so definitely go with Switzerland. Okay, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. France. Oh, nice to see um, the Eiffel Tower. There's more than just the Eiffel Tower, like, yeah, the Eiffel Tower and the um, Notre Dame. A country in Europe. What country? France, probably. And why France? Um, it's just so, I don't know, it's just, I seem like I like France. <laughs> I understand that. I always think of really classy people whenever I think of French people yeah. and the best desserts, yes. the croissants. Desserts, <laughs> carbs, <laughs> all of it. Would you rather escape to a tropical island or a country in Europe? Oh, tropical island for sure. I like to snorkel, so that would definitely be up my alley. Is there a specific island you would go to? I'd really like to go to Bora Bora because they just make it look so pretty, but I'm not sure if it's actually that nice. The perfume is really nice. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the country. <laughs> a country in Europe. And what country? I have no idea. I just want to travel, so... That makes sense. I want to literally hit every single country before I die. Yeah, me too. <laughs> tropical island, because of the type of winter that we've had, I think we all need a little bit of tropical. <laughs> it was just snowing two days ago. Exactly, and it's the middle of April. <laughs> Those were amazing answers. Thank you, West Bloomfield. Join us for another episode of 
Sidewalk Talk. If you'd like to see some of our other fun and interesting questions on the show, you can do so anytime and anywhere by visiting our website at civiccentertv.com slash sidewalk talk. And now it's time for our Civic Center event update, where we provide you with all the latest that's happening around Greater West Bloomfield. And if you'd like to stay up to date on all of the following current events yourself, you can visit civiccentertv.com slash events. Let's get started. <laughs> The Henry Ford Maple Grove Center West Bloomfield is offering their share support group for people who have experienced longer than six months of continuous sobriety from alcohol and drug use and are in need of free beneficial support. Taking place weekly from 7.30 p.m. until 9.30 p.m., this group is for adults only and the purpose is to share coping strategies, express needs and concerns, as well as to connect with others who are successfully moving forward into an addiction-free life. For more information, contact Lisa Kaplan at 248-661-6100. If being able to interact with and touch fine artwork interests you, then you won't want to miss the function exhibit at the Janice Cherick Gallery, happening now through May 10th. The gallery is open to the public Monday through Wednesday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m., Thursday, 10 a.m. until 7 p.m., and Sunday from noon until 4 p.m. Over 50 artists will have their works on display that combine beautiful structures, furniture, household items, and more, all together into art that is functional. Those who come by will be able to sit on, pick up, and interact with the pieces of art. For more information, you can call the gallery at 248-432-5579. On May 2nd, from 10 a.m. until 10.30 a.m., and again from 11 a.m. until 11.30 a.m., join in on the fun at the West Bloomfield Public Library for Tot Spot, a win-win event for both parents and their children. Watch as your child learns to develop a love for reading through an interactive story time. Finger plays, music, movement, and hands-on activities encourage cognitive development, as well as social, sensory, motor, and even math skills. Register now for this free event by visiting wblib.org. The Berman Center for the Performing Arts is having a special show on May 2nd from 7.30 p.m. until 9.30 p.m. called the Michigan Board of Cantors, Broadway and Barracas. This concert happens annually and is fun for all who attend. The live show takes audiences on many musical adventures while paying tribute to the Jewish influence in music of all genres. Come experience the talent and camaraderie of the community cantors at this one-of-a-kind show. To purchase your Tickets, you can visit the Berman.org. If you've ever wondered how the township runs, who is involved, and how they come up with relevant services, you have the opportunity to discover that and any other topic on your mind as you join in on Coffee with the Clerk, along with Township Clerk Debbie Binder and other important local officials. She invites to join in on the fun and fellowship taking place on Fridays from 8.30 a.m. until 9.30 a.m. at Panana Bread off of Orchard Lake Road. The recurring event will allow you to get more involved with our town Township and meet other like-minded people who also care about our local government. You can contact the clerk's office by calling 248-451-4848 to find out more. The West Bloomfield School District is holding a special event called Kitty Kite Day on May 5th from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. This free event will allow children up through second grade to come and make their own kites, enjoy face painting, and a bounce house along with a free hot dog and beverage. This event is happening rain or shine as the activities will move indoors if the weather is not ideal for kite flying. Kids will be sure to love the other arts and crafts available to participate in as well. For more information, you can call Pamela Zajac at 248-865-6454. The first Food Truck Tuesday is happening on May 8th in the Civic Center Complex from 11.30 a.m. until 1.30 p.m. Come meet local officials and employees in a fun, relaxed setting while enjoying fresh, made-to-order food from select food trucks. Food trucks will be located in the south end of the Recreation Activity Center parking lot, where vendors will have food and beverages for sale. Seating will be provided. The featured food truck for May 8th is Ya Eat Yet, with several others planned in the future months. For more information, you can call Chris Darcy at 248-451-4845. 
on May 8th from noon until 1.45 p.m. Stop by the Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital for a Healing Arts Special Exhibit Preview. It's not every day that a flourishing hospital develops an art gallery inside their facilities, but Henry Ford West Bloomfield has done just that. A special exhibition at the Detroit Institute of Arts will be the focus of this preview. The gallery talk is taking place from noon until 1 p.m. with a guided art walk from 1 p.m. until 1.45 p.m. in the hospital. For more information, call 248-325-3890. And that's all for now. However, if you're looking to find even more events going on in your neighborhood, then be sure to follow us at civiccentertv.com slash events and look up our events calendar. Or watch us here for more information on everything going on in the greater West Bloomfield area. As we head into the break, stay tuned because afterwards I'll be talking with Dr. Judy Goodman, Medical Director of Oncology Services at St. Joseph Mercy Oakland and competitive dancer. Don't go away. You're watching The Splash on Civic Center TV. Civic Center TV is your home for everything greater West Bloomfield. Here you can tune into community programming such as our weekly news magazine show, The Splash, as well as coverage of local events and meetings in Kego Harbor, Sylvan Lake, Orchard Lake, and West Bloomfield. You can also watch all of your local programming online anytime at civiccentertv.com. Civic Center TV, television that's close to home. Civic Center TV has gone social. Now it's easier than ever to watch, save, like, and share our videos online. See what's happening in your neighborhood, on the streets, and on the web at civiccentertv.com. Be a part of the conversation and get involved. We would love to hear from you. For links to our social media pages, visit us at our website or find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Civic Center TV, television that's close to home. And now, back to the splash on Civic Center TV. Welcome back to The Splash. I'm Sheena Monin, and here with me on the show this week is Dr. Judy Goodman, Medical Director of Oncology Services at St. Joseph Mercy Oakland and competitive dancer. Dr. Goodman, thank you for giving us your time today to be here. So happy to be here. It sounds like you are a lady of endless talents. That is for sure. You're a working professional, and you also, uh, several years ago, from what I understand, began doing something a little bit special, such as competitive dancing. Uh, to get us started, what helped you be open-minded to embarking on something so very different from your professional realm? So I grew up dancing, not okay. ballroom, but all sorts of dance. Oh, okay. I did modern dance, ballet, African dance, tap, jazz, and all of that became much less when I was a physician yeah. and a mom. Mm -hmm. uh, and a working mom. So all of that stopped temporarily. A few years ago, I was asked to do a benefit for the Detroit Historical Society oh. for ballroom dance, and that's what got me back into dance. That sounds really amazing. I would imagine there's a huge benefit starting so young and being so in touch with that kind of self-expression, being in touch with the body, things like that. Do you remember feeling that kind of just awareness uh, going through daily life outside of the dancing? or Well, I think um, today so many of us are involved in physical activities, mm -hmm. Pilates, yoga, mm -hmm. aerobics, Zumba, and all these things make us have a better mind-body connection. Mm -hmm. uh, but dance certainly is very important in that regard. No, for sure, it's exciting. It, whenever I hear about someone going into dance, I always say, I need to do it too, and then life happens. But after this, hopefully I'll actually follow through. Uh, when you first began a few years ago and you did that benefit, did you see it taking off the way that it has? I mean, if you wouldn't mind sharing some of the opportunities you've had and competitions you've done. Well, dance has always been a passion of mine. And when I got back to doing ballroom, I realized how much I missed it. Mm. And it gives you an opportunity to perform mm -hmm. and continue dancing. And there's not a whole lot better than that, yeah. except being a doctor. Yeah. Well, and a mother <laughs> and a wife, all those things too. But um, it's lots of fun that many people can enjoy. 
For sure. So when you got back into it, was it just you were taking lessons? Like, how does one reach a competitive level? I would imagine you have to be quite good. Well, no, that's not true no? because okay. when you do competitive ballroom dancing, there are levels: beginner, oh, intermediate. Okay. I didn't know and that. And they classify them differently: bronze, silver, and gold. Okay. So there is a level for everyone. So you don't have to be dancing with the stars appropriate mm -hmm. to compete in ballroom. You could take a class three times and you could compete. Wow, that's encouraging. I love that. Yes. That's great. Wonderful. So I would imagine there are some personal benefits that you have felt uh, through going back and reconnecting with ballroom dance. Can you share a little bit of some things that personally you felt just come alive or awaken? Well, um, first I have to say that in addition to dance being a passion, being a physician is a passion and there's nothing better than taking care of patients. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that we all have to have a balance in our lives. And you need a balance that also supports your other interests and your heart and soul, which mm -hmm. dance does for me. And that, I think, makes me a better doctor. Um, additionally, there's enormous cardiovascular benefit. Oh. There are definitely studies that show that people who do ballroom dance um, have a quicker brain function. Oh, it's wow. good for patients with Parkinson's disease. Um, with MS, so there are a lot of multitude of benefits. Me personally, uh, I, I love it, I have a passion for it, it mm -hmm. keeps me in shape and it keeps my mind working and I get to perform. All those, all, those, all those are good reasons. So for those watching, uh, the community members, you would really recommend, if they have an interest in it, getting involved. And in, is it specifically ballroom dancing where they have those benefits or all kinds of dancing, do you think? Well, I think all kinds of physical activities have those benefits. Okay. Um, but anyone can do ballroom dance. Mm -hmm. It's There are many places in your community that offer it from um, schools to private studios. Mm -hmm. Anyone can participate. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being here and sharing that information with us. I'm inspired. Hopefully, I will get myself and my dancing shoes on and actually follow through. Thank you so much. You should try it. Try a little salsa. You'd a little like salsa. It. That would be fun. Yes. <laughs> Once again, everyone, we've been speaking with Dr. Judy Goodman, Medical Director of Oncology Services at St. Joseph Mercy, Oakland, and competitive dancer. Now let's head over to another of our recurring segments called The Biz, where we learn more about pet nutrition with a local pet store. Healthcare is an important issue for most families, but that also includes keeping our smallest family members, our pets, active and vibrant as well. And in this edition of The Biz, we visit Pet Value, a store that caters to keeping our animals as healthy as they can be. It has become amazingly, increasingly popular, yes. So I think a lot of us feed our pets better than we feed ourselves. And that's anything from grain-free, gluten-free, corn-free, holistic diets, uh, raw food and alternative feeding, frozen food. The pet industry and the pet food industry has changed so much, even in the last 5, 10, 20 years. We all grew up, for the most part, buying food at the grocery store. And we've learned, uh, especially recently, that that food is not going to be the best food for our pets for longevity and living a happy life. We're all familiar with the term holistic, but what exactly does it mean in terms of a pet's diet? A holistic diet is really kind of an all-encompassing diet that includes fresh meats, fresh, fresh vegetables, uh, fresh grains, uh, and is really a whole and all-inclusive diet to be able to take care of a pet uh, in a holistic way. So that holistic approach and really thinking of it, uh, taking care of not just one specific need in their diet, but the pet as a whole. So you think of the ingredients uh, kind of being something that you would serve to your entire family at a, a big Thanksgiving dinner. Food allergies worldwide are on the rise for humans, but pets are not immune to this growing trend. I think people are becoming more aware of pet allergies and food sensitivities and really kind of the, the few things that you can look for in your pet are one, hot spots, so are they having any skin irritation, uh, constant ear infections is another great indicator that your pet might have a food sensitivity or an allergy, licking and chewing at their paws, anytime you're really noticing obvious discomfort, we can help you find an alternative that might be causing that issue or that sensitivity and usually the biggest and easiest way to do that is by switching foods. When pollen, dust mites, mold spores, and other triggers come in contact with a pet skin, they can also trigger allergies, and bathing is a good remedy for treatment of these symptoms. 
Um, but based on dog breed and how long their coat is, how oily their coat is, yes, we, we love a dog wash, especially for heavier coated breeds, longer hair dogs. So our dog wash is fantastic. You can see behind us, each one of our locations has a hand-painted mural that's specific to the community. We welcome all animals into the dog wash, but we've seen pigs, goats, mini horses, uh, anything that you can bring in. But our dog wash can accommodate up to uh, a giant breed dog. We've had 250, 300 pound mastiffs in the wash, up to our uh, St. Bernard's, and then we've got a smaller tub there in the middle where you can bring in your chihuahua, and it's easier than doing it in the kitchen sink. For Civic Center TV, I'm Lawrence Nylon. For more episodes of The Biz, visit civiccentertv.com slash the biz. Now it's time for our final segment on the splash called Person of the Week, where we recognize those within the community who are either inspiring or providing toward others. And this week's recipient is Kevin Goldman, youth advocate and co-founder of Defeat the Label, an organization that works to end bullying. <music> Kevin Goldman is a man with a true dedication to serving our local youth. Having put his children through the West Bloomfield School District, Kevin knows the importance of providing our children with excellent opportunities and a culture of positivity. Over the years, Kevin Goldman has served on the West Bloomfield Educational Foundation Board, fundraising for programs that help our students live successful, productive, and enriching lives in and outside of the classroom. He is also one of the co-founders of Defeat the Label, a nonprofit dedicated to educating understanding and ending bullying. His work with community organizations and fellow parents ensures that our local youth enjoy the benefits of exceptional learning and feelings of self-empowerment. Kevin's loving commitment to bettering the lives of children in West Bloomfield and far beyond is why he is our person of the week. If you happen to know someone who is providing a service to their community, then let us know by sending an email to the splash at civiccentertv.com. We want to congratulate those who are making a difference in our area, and we appreciate all of your suggestions. That's going to do it for us this week, but remember, you can watch new episodes of The Splash every Monday at 5.30 p.m. or throughout the week for replays. You can also watch every episode online at civiccentertv.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook under Civic Center TV 15, YouTube at Civic Center TV 15, and on Twitter at Civic Center TV for more information. For all of our friends in Sylvan Lake, Orchard Lake, Kego Harbor, and West Bloomfield, I'm Sheena Monin. Thank you for watching The Splash. <music>